welcome to the ETX Capital Market Bites, today is 7th October 2015. We're focused shifting towards upcoming quarterly reports in the US, which are expected to reflect a downturn in the corporate earnings season. US stocks fell on Tuesday, bringing a five-day winning streak to an abrupt end. The Dow Jones Industrial Average ended up closing 0.08% higher, whereas the S&P 500 lost 0.36% to 1.79.79.92. And the Nasdaq dropped 0.69% to finish at 4.748 spot D6. The International Monetary Fund has downgraded its global economic forecast this year, reducing its figure to 3.1% from its July prediction of 3.3%. The IMF cited downturns in the emerging markets, the declining commodity prices, and the transitional phase to consumer spending driven economy in China as justification for their revised estimate. Asian stocks hit a seven-week high on Wednesday as oil prices showed some signs of life, supporting battered uh, resource shares and emerging economy currencies, while Tokyo shares fell after the Bank of Japan stood firm on policy. Japan's benchmark index Nikkei closed up 0.75% at 1832.98. The dollar is down 0.2% at 120.03. Pulling back from the day's high of 120.36, the yen also pulled away from the two and a half week low of 86.26 to the Australian dollar, touched before the Bank of Japan's decision. The euro last traded at 1.1267, near the week's high of 1.12895. In the UK equity space, triple supermarket Tesco has announced a further big fall in profits as it struggles to turn its business around. Underlying profits for the first half of its financial year were £354 million, less than half of last year's £779 million. In early trading, the stock is down to 1.71%, 189 pence per share. Chile and copper mining company Antofagasta Minerals, the operational company division of Antofagasta, said on Tuesday it was reducing its workforce by around 7% in order to cut costs. The latest victim with the release of Malta in the copper market. The stock is up 3.41% at 556 pence per share this morning. Traders will be eagerly awaiting Canadian building permits at 1.30 UK time, forecast of 0.5%, and blast is negative 0.6%, and crude oil inventories at 3.30, forecast of 2.2 million. Thanks for watching.